In this video, we're going to be talking about how to get the eraser and the side button to swap functionality. Now, this video is for Chris. He is a, a subscriber here on YouTube. Chris, I hope this helps you out. If it does, please put a comment in the comment section so that I know that I reached you on this. So you can't. That <laughs> you, you can't do it. it. It doesn't work. You can't make this and this switch on the Slim Pen 2 or the Surface Pen, uh, but there are a couple workarounds. Now, that said, a stylus like this one, uh, which I have on the, uh, my website, and you can check the description of this video. I should have merch available with this as one of the options. It's a two button stylus. Now, all two button styluses have two buttons. All right, hopefully we're all tracking. <laughs> And the first button, depending on what kind of stylus it is, typically on this on this one specifically, R530, first one is invert. So if I put it on the screen and I draw, and then I press the invert button, invert is erase. So it's the erase part of that. Now this one has an actual eraser. Also, the computer sees these differently, which is very complicated and confusing, but that's how it works. However, now there are some options that are important. So you can do almost the same thing with this. And I did this on purpose. This was a big pain in the butt trying to figure out how do I just simply erase with the barrel button, the right click button on the side of a Surface Pen, a Microsoft made stylus. Okay, so let's go into that. So here we're gonna draw. We're going to open up the pen tool, which is keyboard shortcut control backslash. If you don't have this installed, uh, the link is in the description. Okay, what we're going to do is we are going to go to, we're in input mode already. We're going to go to advanced. This menu right here, if you have the pen tool installed, you can just single click. The eraser will open up this panel right here. So those are the two ways to get to it. And what we're going to do is we're going to drag from this locate button over here to the orange stylus. And the second one, we're going to drag to the eraser and let go. All right, so we're gonna click apply. And now when we press the side button, it will go to the eraser. When we press it again, it'll go to the pencil. Yay! I think that's cool. Okay, so that's how you do that. You can put up to six different functions in that list. Again, single click right here or open up the panel. Open up the panel here and choose configure right here. So that would be set to um, advanced. The button will say advanced if you're not in advanced mode. So here we can click here, we go back to simple. And then you see the option for advanced there. A little too much information, but hopefully that clarifies. Um, if you have questions, put it in the comments. Chris, if this answered that for you, um, let me know. All right, you guys, hope this is helpful. I'll see you in the next video.